Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the Uzi or the Milano um, SMG in the Call of Duty Cold War Zombies. So, I mean, it, it's definitely just an Uzi and not, not anything else. Um, I, however, um, I haven't actually used this gun up until this gameplay that you've seen just now, so I wanted to try it and, and add it into the gun review series and see how well it did. So, um, we do have the Unpack Punch boss fight here. Um, it starts off kind of meh. It, it's like, round one is like four, three, four bullets to kill a zombie. Um, and then it's like a two shot headshot, a one shot headshot, maybe. Um, not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, unpack a bunch. This gun is just, it's just average, really. And you'll come to find that it pretty much is just an average gun, to be honest. Um, as you can see here, it's doing like almost no damage to the boss. That does increase later on, although I wouldn't say it's necessarily a gun I would choose over something like the MP5 or the AK-47, but for sticking in SMGs I'd say the, the MP5 is probably the best one. Um, and we don't have Ring of Fire active anymore and you can see it's, it's just not doing too much damage and we're only on round 8, which isn't exactly a lot, so use the Semtexes take off a chunk of his health and then finish him off with the, the Uzi. The ammo on the, the, the gun is actually pretty good. Um, it's 32 in a mag and you start off with, I believe it's 248 and then pack punched as you can see there, it's, it's 60 bullets a mag and 360 in the, the stock. And then we're without ring of fire there. Um, it is only around 10 but you can see um, pack punch the gun is doing quite a fair amount of damage to the, to the boss there. Um, and if we just finish the boss off here, um, we do use Ring of Fire just to show you that it's it's a hell of a lot faster, but Ring of Fire does that to pretty much every gun except the snipers. The snipers are just kind of useless without with, with the Ring of Fire on, um, just because their slow fire rate uh, makes it quite difficult to survive. But any SMG um, assault rifle on Ring of Fire is just pretty overpowered. And again, into the, the second Pack-a-Punch level boss fight here. Um, it's pretty much the same as the first one. It does a fair amount of damage. Um, not too difficult to take them out. It's more the zombies that kind of are more difficult because the fire rate on the Uzi is kind of slow. Like for a small SMG like that, you'd expect it to be really fast, but it just it just feels like there's not a lot of well firing being done in in quick succession, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But it makes it difficult to take out loads of zombies at once, unless you've got loads of upgrades, like I said, but it's my first game using it, so we don't have any of the the attachments for it, which maybe would help, but I feel like the attachments don't do a lot in terms of actual usage of the gun, it's just helpful for equipment and salvage drops and things like that. Um, and here we'll go into the, the level 3 boss fight. Oh, voice crack. Um, the level 3 boss fight here... Um, Level 3 Pack-a-Punch boss fight, I've said that like 6 times now, there's something wrong with me. Um, but as you can see again, at round 25, which is, is in, isn't necessarily early in the game, but it's not too late either, it's probably a midpoint where you would expect the gun to to maybe start dropping off, um, you know, the worst guns would start dropping off, which it honestly hasn't. Um, I can safely say that it's, it's not dropped off, it's remained consistent, but it's not overall the best gun to use, um, just because of that fire rate. The ammo's not bad. Um, I suppose with the ammo upgrades and the attachments, it, it would be a lot better. Um, I do find that the, the stock is quite low, so yeah, I find myself having to buy ammo quite a lot. Um, again, it's taking out the, the boss zombie with ease there. Um, no hassle at all to take that out. So there we go. Um, yeah, so just kill the boss there. And we'll move on, I want to show you the, the horde that I managed to take out with it. We didn't get it fully upgraded, I downed and... Honestly, I didn't think there'd be too much difference between um, purple and legendary, purple and orange or gold or whatever you want to call it. Um, because as you can see here, it's, it's taken out the horde pretty quickly. I, I will say I, I would have liked more ammo in the mag. Obviously a small gun's not going to have a lot of ammo, it's not like an LMG, but I feel like you're just kind of missing something when you're taking out that horde. It, it doesn't feel like you're denting it. Um, it just kind of feels like you're almost... Like, you are killing zombies and you know you are because you can see the points going up and you can see you're killing a lot of zombies, but it just doesn't look like it. It's not satisfying to use. Um, it's it's good, it's decent, it does does the damage, but 
Um, after this round, I believe I got to round like 35-ish. Um, and then downed. But, yeah, it kind of drops off after this. Um, this is the last round I have that it's actually, you know, killing the zombies. After that, I mean, even you can tell it's, it's kind of slowing down from what it was before. Um, but yeah, overall I'd rate this gun kind of in the middle, maybe a 5, 6 out of 10. Um, we'll go 6 because of the, the damage it does to the boss, it's, it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'd say overall a 6 out of 10 just because it drops off pretty quickly. Um, you know, you've got guns like the MP5 and the AK-47 that, that stay doing damage until like around 45, 50. Um, and then obviously after that it's expected for it to not do as much damage as it would in the earlier rounds. So that'll do us for today's video. I do appreciate you guys watching. If you do have any questions or any opinions on this topic, any guns you want me to review after, please let me know in the comments below. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.